For Black Friday, you can get The Athletic for only £1 a month for a whole year. See the link in the description now to sign up. Almost since Lionel Messi's career began, the world has been trying to identify his successor. It happened with Pelé, with Maradona, George Best and the original Brazilian Ronaldo. But Messi's brilliance has inspired imitations and comparisons at an unprecedented level. So what happened to all of those new Messis? Boyan Kerkic was an obvious one. Slight, skillful, and a product of La Masia with a choir boy haircut, he was never going to avoid the Messi comparison. He would never approach the same heights, of course, but he would still have a respectable career, which took place in Roma, AC Milan, Ajax, and, well, Stoke City. And he's now playing alongside Andres Iniesta and Sergi Sampa for Vissel Kobe in the J-League. Guy Asulin was another La Masia graduate, destined to be lumbered with the comparison. With his long, straggly hair, he probably looked more like Messi than Boyan. He may not have delivered on his promise, but he certainly travelled the world. There were no senior league appearances for Barcelona nor Manchester City after he moved there, but he did play in the Segunda Division for Mallorca and Granada, before embarking on a global tour. Asulin has played in the Romania 2nd Division, also for Hapoel Tel Aviv, in his native Israel, and Kazakhstan too. Still just 30, he can currently be found in Italy's fourth tier. On signing Mauro Zarate, Lazio president Claudio Lotito wasn't exactly bashful, justifying the 25 million euros as good value because, quote, Zarate will turn out better than Lionel Messi. 25 goals in four Serie A seasons said differently, and Zarate departed in 2013 on the long road of a journeyman's career. Japan has a current new Messi in Takakubo, but its original was Ryo Miyachi the Arsenal winger who was derailed by injuries. Scotland have won two in Ryan Gould, and Germany staked their claim in Marco Marin, who burned very brightly at Werder Bremen before disappearing at Chelsea and playing in order for Sevilla, Fiorentina, Anderlecht, Trabzonspor, Olympiakos, Red Star Belgrade, al Ahly, al Rayad, and Ferenc Varosh. During his time at Basel, Mohamed Salah was known as the Egyptian Messi, and, well, that turned out quite well, didn't it? Similarly, England and Chelsea's Fran Kirby was referred to by former England women's coach Mark Sampson as Mini Messi. And the description stuck. Still, a two-time PFA Player of the Year, Kirby has lived up to it. And the Cameroonian Lionel Messi is actually Lionel Messi. Lionel Messi Nyamsi has potted about the French lower divisions for much of his career, and as a tall, defensively-minded midfielder or centre-half, his chances of living up to his namesake were limited. Youssef Masekni was supposed to be Tunisia's first real superstar. His shuttling, dribbling style and sometimes extravagant flair made early comparisons irresistible. But much of his career and success has come in Qatar. Nelson Bustamante was a different sort of new Messi. He was plucked from the streets of Chile, where he was found earning money by freestyling for passing motorists. An agent engineered a move to Italian side Brescia, who, like Barcelona and Messi before, even paid for Bustamante's growth hormone deficiency treatment. He's 28 now, but currently without a club. And Giovanni Dos Santos is without a club now too. But he's had a good career, another who came through La Masia with exciting dribbling ability and an eye for an artistic goal. His best years came in MLS and for the Mexican national team. And Newcastle United nearly signed a new Messi. The North Korean version, though. Yong Il Guan was once upon a time an Asian Football Confederation Youth Player of the Year. But he never quite made it to the northeast of England. He had a brief spell in Switzerland and is now back in his native Sarawan. And Africa has had a whole host of new Messies, some of them quite successful. Nigeria's Moses Simon came through the Golden Boot Soccer Academy in Kaduna, before moving to Ajax as a teenager and going on to decent spells at Ghent and currently Nantes. Ogo Obi was also appointed by the Nigerian media when he went on trial with Manchester United. This next Messi didn't quite make the grade at Old Trafford, but he was signed by Watford and is currently playing in England's Isthmian League for Hanwell Town. With his tiny frame and quick, skillful feet, it wasn't hard to see why Christian Atsu was billed as another new Messi, or why Chelsea fans were excited when he signed for the club from Porto in 2013. Alas, he would really just be another member of the club's loan army and is currently playing football in Saudi Arabia. Walid Soliman was a new Egyptian Messi before Mohamed Salah. He was also very left-footed and highly talented. But he spent almost all of his career in his domestic league. 
And of course, as you might expect, South America has claimed a small army of new Messis. Eric Lamella has had success in Europe, so too Peruvian Raul Ruidas. Laturo Comas, Alex Rodriguez, and David Barbona have all dealt with the comparison too. So did Pablo Piatti, the tiny mercurial Diego Bonanote, and Juan Iturbe, who was briefly on loan at Bournemouth. Luan Vieira was supposed to be Brazil's answer to Messi, as was Jean Carra, who had to cope with those expectations as a child. He retired at just 21 and is now an esports player. Moving up into North America, Mexico has bred two new Messis itself Real Betis' Diego Lenez and Lazio's Luca Romero, who was born in Durango City but actually represents Argentina internationally. Romero is a 5'5 left-footed attacking midfielder with long hair who likes the ball at his feet. He was never not going to be compared to Leo Messi, but these players come from everywhere and are all shapes and sizes. During our research, Tifo found hundreds of players who've been compared to Messi. By people within the game, by journalists, fans, and there just wasn't enough room to include them all, so here are a few more. And a few others. And just a couple more. Deal of the year, I got the 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 deal of the year. You're not gonna wanna miss this one. It's only one man for a total of 12 months, that's 12 pounds for the year. You, you want to get the deal. deal you don't want to miss this deal. deal it's the Athletic and the Tifo. Writers, the writers you you want to get the, the Athletic deal. for £1 pound per month for 12 months. You're not going to want to miss that. That's just £12 pounds for the whole year of the Athletic, the best sports writing in the world. <laughs>